Grigor Andalov presents rare problems. Tell him why. He took my business. He's a sovereign nation, insulated and protected in a way that makes him impossible to counter. You can't lose my money. No, of course not. My every move is geared to make and not lose money. Mm, no, you can't lose my money. If you do, we have a problem. Understood? Also, ruthless. Yeah, I got that from the part about the guy getting his arm ripped off. You offered to buy me out. Or not? You said no? If I said no, I'd be dead. I said yes, but too slow. Also, I ran too slow. That's a Siberian brown bear. He'd as soon rip our faces off as give us his money. Treadwell was reckless. Forgot he was dealing with a wild animal. Thought they were friends. I won. No conference room, no lawyers. I could get used to this. I had lawyer read. I don't have lawyer and force. And so our adventure begins. True. Very true. Happy occasion like this reminds me of funny story. There is plenty I would kill for. You know, if we're being honest. And there's no reason not to be. But family acts. I would do things for these people that you couldn't imagine. As they have all done for me. Especially her. My dear mom. Many years ago, I was walking along the Moscow Christmas Market. You ever seen Moscow Christmas Market? Always a sense of good cheer, even during the lean years. I think it was the wine they serve, warm wine with the spices in the cinnamon. And I was waiting on the line. Everyone was always waiting on the line. And finally, I got my cup. I turned, and there was this little boy, runny nose. So I give him my cup of wine and I take his mother away from the square behind the soldiers. And I walk back and this little boy is staring at me with his greedy, drunken eyes. Do you know what happened to him? from the stranger? If that were true, what would you be saying about my mother? That she did what she had to do to protect her family. And you. And didn't complain. I'm fortunate to have her. Fortunate to have met when we did 